hard-working uh, businesswoman that uh, Natalie was, um, very, um, uh, very well liked and loved by many, many people. And that's one of the stark things in this case, really, is to, to find that we've had nobody say a bad word about Natalie. It's all very positive and nice. I think I think we've we've shown he's um, he's, he's, he's an arrogant, narcissistic personality, um, who's uh, it's all about him. He's superior. He thinks he's better than everybody else, uh, and certainly in this case, uh, we just couldn't accept that Natalie had finally got the strength to to leave him, and uh, he tried a number of things to try and keep her to stay, including threats of violence and violence, um, as well as uh, uh, threats to himself and. Um, uh, the, the poor me type of uh, attitude and approach and the final act of control over Natalie was uh, killing her so nobody else could have her even though it's been shown that he has he does suffer from a uh, a mental health condition um, it's um, uh, uh, one in four of the adult population of the UK suffer from a mental health condition um, and uh, they don't go around murdering people it was a uh, a very severe attack um, and uh, that lasted um, uh, just over 20 seconds um, and during that time the stab, stab wounds were ferocious enough to, uh, to bend the new knife and break the tip off the knife and also um, cause uh, fractures to, uh, to some of her bones as well. I mean he, he was, um, uh, had purposeful intent certainly to, uh, to, to kill her.